32 nautical miles. And if we're doing even an easy seven knots, either sailing or under power, and we'll probably do more than that, but say seven knots, that's still four and a half hours. So to make that voyage, what I was planning, what my plan is, is to cast off here at 8.30 in the morning, 0830, and um, anyone that wants to, to be part of the flotilla, at least be outside of the entrance to St. George's by 0900. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Yes. And you've got two. And so 0900, you've got to be out here ready to go. So that means about a 0830 or 0800 departure. And then probably motoring up this coast. And Marucha and I have done this one time already just for fun about six weeks ago. And what we found is as we talk about the wind, and I'll talk about wind and seas here in a little bit, but uh, we'll come around the west end of Granada. And what I did is I sail into the wind, so I sailed into the wind to a point that I was pointing about three miles to the west of Cariacu. And the reason that's not a problem is I can sail all the way up here, furrow my sails, and then just motor in. Yeah. But what happens is as this wind comes around Cariacu, you get some of this coming right down the coast. So if you stay in close, one, you have less wind, and two, it's right on your nose, right on the bow. So I stay a half mile to a mile off the coast. I pick up a little bit more of a easterly wind, which is where the wind is coming on the other side of the island. And then as I clear the northern tip of Granada, these winds freshen and it gives you a header. So that point that was all the way over here, all of a sudden, it pointed right back to Tyrell Bay with the same wind six weeks ago as we have tomorrow. So you should get a header through this passage as you come through. It should allow you to point. Now Les Chex has a catamaran. It doesn't point like you. No. So and you, had a you may choose to motor. Catamaran. catamaran. Oh, oh. You have catamaran too? Yeah. Okay, like so you too may choose to motor up to this point and see what the wind's doing. From this point to this point, you may be able to sail. Yeah. Because if you follow me, I'm going to be going out here at probably about 45 degrees off my bow, which yeah. is probably a closer haul than the catamaran can do. So your choice is to motor up here or to sail farther out here. That's up to you, gentlemen. Let's check. I, I'd recommend for you just motor up to the northern end. Just come around, and as you come around this northern point, it'll the wind will shift like this for you. Can you tell us about the, yeah, the volcano? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We know that it's very main. dangerous because when he is, yeah, he yeah, can yeah. you can sink. The boat yeah, can, you sink. can sink. So you can motor up. There. I'll say, I've done that every day for the last 10 years and there's not a problem. The only problem is, it, can, it won't even be an interruption, it's just a burp of the volcano. And that gets the gas go. comes yeah. out and everything in this area, the density of water changes and you lose your buoyancy. So, you want to be careful with that one. And that's why the charts rec show us that. Like every story, it started with Once Upon a Time. I'm Mark and this is Nancy, but we bought a boat to take us all over the ocean and to see the world. We are no sailor, we have no experience. But when an opportunity comes, it only comes once, and if you don't take it tomorrow, it can be gone forever. It's a familiar affair with Sonny Boasa. Join us and discover with us
Finally, I didn't join Don for his passage, and he left, like he said, at 8.30 in the morning. We decided to go solo and uh, leave the harbor in a few days. There was more wind. Nancy, if you want to stand by the aft port. Yeah, I think you can. Almost a spring line. Get ready on the bow. Go ahead and cast off the bow. Docking line, port side. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Nancy, go ahead and cast off that. You'll have a great sail. <laughs> it was now our turn to say goodbye to the friends we made in Grenada and prepare the boat to leave now the harbor. Hi Jeffrey. Hi Mark. <laughs> so I'm coming down. So. This helped me out very good. I'm really thankful because sometimes I don't get no work and then my, you all you guys used to give me they help me pay for my loan every day. Everything. Okay, this is Jeffrey, the best person you if you come ever to go to Grenada and you are everywhere in Grenada or in Port Louis and you need somebody to lead you around, to bring you to the store, to wait for you, to check for your medicine, to tour you to Ireland, to do everything. He knows everybody and he's got the the best transport ever and he drives perfectly. And the car is always clean. Jeffrey. And what is your number, Jeffrey? 417-3797. So one, I repeat, 417-3797. Do it. The water has been filled up. So I've, we have deep plugged the water that was over there. And I've deep plugged the electricity was over the other one. And go all around the, the boat to plug the shore power. Shore power is out. Water is out. Water is full in the tank. Uh, all the cables are slowly getting unplugged. Voila! The filter, the two filter out, deplug it from there, and I'm going to store that away. I just turn the Wi Fi of Mana, the SIM card of Mana on. Just sweating like hell. Everything is done there. The galley is prepared for sailing. So now what I've done, all first reef, second reef, third reef uh, were well ploughed air, so I'm going to take it down and prepare them for the navigation. So everything is going on the ground air. I've opened the lazy bag. The lazy bag is open. This is clear. It can go up. Air, oak. Everything's okay, and I'm going to do the flag. Taking the flag out. Ah, flag is out. And now I have to attach the, the dinghy. What? No? No, no. I have to attach the dinghy. Like that. Because. Uh, it could go out in sea if it's too bumpy. So, walking to the marina office, I'm going to bring back this marina office. It was the e dock I was on, or the, what was the name of the dock? F, uh, F dock, okay. Fine, F dock. And what was the name of the slot? Uh, F four zero. Thank you. Voilà. Je suis prêt. Il est tout. Moi, si j'aurais pu faire avec les compteurs, qu'est-ce qu'ils ne sont pas mis les relevés Ils font ça à distance. Face à l'or. Les relevés des compteurs. Ils font ça à distance. Donc, j'ai fait une photo des compteurs. Ça a l'air, ça a l'air plus, plus, plus ou moins juste. Donc, euh... Ouais, ouais.
Oui, tu peux remonter tout est par bas, Tanti. Et qu'une de, de courte ploie, Tanti. De courte ploie. Nancy is doing, and we get the out of the pool. quasiment de face d'abord bien quasiment de face alors qu'on aurait dû avoir du, du vent euh, du sud-est et on a du vent du nord ça c'est peut-être parce que le vent fait une boucle comme ça ici derrière vraiment étonnant on avance avec un moteur parce qu'on a du vent
This is now the last part, a bit difficult because we are in front of Tyrell Bay and there's a lot of boats and we have to find a place. Jammed. I knew it. <laughs> 